off to California where our redesigner is creating a great outdoor living space without spending a thing. Madge and Michael own a great California bungalow house near the beach. Well, we worked really hard to make the inside of the house really nice and comfortable and warm and cozy. And it's just not that way out here. Their back patio is the issue. Well, we would love to come out here, but there's absolutely nothing appealing to come out here. They want an outdoor space for entertaining and hanging out with their three boys. We want to feel kind of like an inside-outside kind of thing. Right now, it's more of a catch-all for extra stuff. This is my attempt at a little decorating. I have no idea what Madge is doing here. This clock, which is really handy because normally I never know what time it is when I'm out here with the kids. This is an anniversary gift from my wife. It's an old hood of a 56 board or something. A redesigner is on the case. And Kelly, as you can see, it is very uninspired. Okay, I admit. <laughs> it's just, it's it dumpy. We got a great start on this space. We have a little accent color, some window coverings. But let's face it, this patio is quite drab. We've got cement floors, hard edges, mismatched plants. We're going into the living room. We're going to pick up the contemporary feel, the style, the colors, bring it into this space so it's actually an extension of the living room. First up, something to break up all that great concrete. This is the you're, answer. You're going after my rug. I am. I just got this. So Kelly's taking my inside rug outside. I say we move it. I think that's a great idea. That's two against one. Okay. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure it's going to work, but Michael and her are ganging up on me. So I'm just going to let her go with it and try to let it go. Whatever. Whatever. It does definitely cover the gray and the concrete. Maybe that could be a good thing. We'll have to see. We're offsetting the dining table and centering it between the windows for visual balance. Now what we need is color. Oh man, look at it, perfect. An umbrella. Look at it, it even matches like your, kind of your curtains. We'll add a pop of color. I never would have put an umbrella in there. I mean really, we already have an overhang. It really just anchors the space. And you know what? We got a lot more work to do. The big plant stand comes back, but... This piece... Yeah. It, it's really not... You don't need to hold back. <laughs> the other one is not. So... Kelly's trudging through the undergrowth of my house. Oh, look! The piece little... just fell off. Found an old baker's rag. No, it's really not so bad, and I'm All sure right. it's a little TLC. We get Michael on the job. It does look kind of cute now, and I think maybe... She has some trick for it, some design magic. Madge has some decorative lights in storage. This is going to be perfect. So now we'll get some light over your eating space. Perfect for our dining table. And we are ready for the outdoor window treatments. You know, they're a little flat though, and I thought maybe we could get them more up like an awning. In order to create an awning effect. I thought we could do some of these plant stands. We need to get clever. Can you put that in the wall? I think I can manage. The three-dimensional aspect of this now brings out so much character. This is really cool. And as for the artwork made from an old car? Okay, as I remember hearing, this art used to be over your fireplace. Yes. Yeah. Put that chimney oh, down. I we will once again oh. hang your art over, over the, the fireplace. fireplace. <laughs> I'm very misty. We're treating this like any room in the house, and that means accessories and art are just as important. We're using plants and metal and canvas because they're more weather resistant. Now, what to do with our found baker's rack? I'm thinking what we do is we turn that into like a mini bar. It's there. Finally, we lose the wobbly old bench in the backyard and replace it with a one-of-a-kind piece from the front yard. The pillows, you know, we can get rid of those later. 
And here is our finished patio. Think of it as a room now. I'm totally impressed. I think it looks great. I'm super surprised that it actually has a dimension and a shape. It's not just a big blob of nothingness now. All we did to this patio to make it an outdoor room is take elements from the indoors and bring them out. We have a rug, window treatments, accessories, art, and now it's a beautiful extension of the living room. Few words, what do you think? I think it's terrific. I think now that I have this extra living space, we can hold off adding the second floor for about another five years. <laughs> no, we can't. Coming up, it's